By making toys, it is also a way of learning the different methods of how we can go into understanding science. This shows how circular motion can be changed into to and fro motion. It gives them a chance to, to show, showcase their creativity and it's fun making toys. Through this platform, students exchange ideas, develop analytical thinking, planning, perseverance, creativity. These scientific principles have allowed us to go to the moon and back. They have allowed us to dive to the deepest parts of this ocean. And they have inspired children to pursue careers in science and engineering. So seeing the great enthusiasm of schools, teachers and students towards the competition over the years has been extremely encouraging as it highlights SESA as a great avenue for facilitating learning and creativity among students. They have learned that science is something which is real, something which is enjoyable. Through this award, Sony hopes to contribute to the educational process and help to promote creativity and science among the young. Winning awards for making toys, that's what some budding scientists did for making toys that contain at least one scientific principle. And I use recycled materials on my last project. But with commercial toys becoming more attractive, children today are less motivated to create their very own toys. So this competition is a great opportunity for children to explore the joy of toy making once again. I tried to actually keep it very small. Um, I only open it up to actually uh, my class. But as time goes by with all the um, processes and uh, planning and until today where uh, Sunny Creative is actually part of the school's department program. This year in getting parents to be involved, uh, we have got parents of the children of the competition coming into uh, uh, the workshop itself, sitting in the child and looking at how the toy making process uh, happens for the child because it is a team effort. As long as space is given to the teachers uh, who are running the program, uh, the program will only get bigger in the school. I was just working on this particular toy before I knew about the competition and I thought why not just uh, have a go and take part in the competition. The fondest memory must have been that morning when I went to school and my teacher telling me that I had won the, the first prize. I mean, it, it was jo not just joy on my part, but I think my teachers and the school shared the joy as well. Winning wasn't uh, my main priority. It was really about having a lot of fun, coming out with the final product that I was really proud of.